is definitely by far one of the most recurring comments we get. Awesome engine, great idea, shame it comes too late. Or this would have been great 20 years ago. Or why invest in a new engine when the future is clearly electric. So my goal today is not just to prove that it isn't a bad time to develop a new engine, but to show you that right now is actually the best of times. Skeptical, let me show you why. <laughs> Yes, 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 we do know that electric motors are over 90% efficient compared to under 40% for ice. So case closed, right? Well, not so fast, because the system is only as good as its weakest link, and lithium-ion batteries are more than a weak link, if we're being honest. They're just crap. They're very expensive, very pollutant. They catch fire, take ages to charge, they overload the grid when they are charging, we don't have nearly enough metals to produce them, can barely be recycled, depend on the main grid, and therefore are unreliable, and they're major weather events or catastrophes, I could go on and on, but I think I've made my point, which is, there are much better ways to store energy than lithium-ion batteries. Anything that stores energy for that matter, whether it's water in a dam or a pile of hot bricks, is a battery. So why not e-fuels? Creating liquid e-fuels from a green hydrogen base is already a reality and a much better and sustainable way of storing energy than any rare earth based battery, existing or concept to be. So even if we accept electric motors are the future of mobility, it does not follow that they will be exclusively powered by current battery concepts, but much more likely by liquid, power dense, green hydrogen based e fuel. The only remaining question is how to transform that liquid energy into electric energy in an efficient manner with a compact solution. Something simple, elegant, and cheap to manufacture. The future is eclectic, the future is e Rex.